Yo, yo, it's Jojo TB said, what up, what up? Today we're gonna talk about T history. Don't mind my, I'm at work. I always keep those. So, um, yeah, man, T history passed away. Nobody knows why, what happened to him. All I know is that he, um, passed away on Mother's Day. I, I could probably confirm it now because I saw Death of the Cloud Chaser talk about it. I saw Bullets Gotti talk about it. I saw Cosmology Bay talk about it. I saw Friendly Extortion put it on. Rest in peace. Um, and all the people that used to be down <clears throat> or at least used to pull up on his panels and on his chats. They all pulled up with a rest in peace. So rest in peace, T history, man. I don't know what happened. It sounds probably sound like a heart attack or something. Cause what could have killed them? It's not like he. I don't think he died in a like he got shot or none of that stuff. But it's very sad. Want to um apologize to everybody. I fucking roasted on on youtube everybody i talk bad about because at the end of the day like i have a heart and shit and when um like when t history when i heard the news about t history like like i don't know but shit be hitting me like if people is my family like right away i started thinking about when we first when we first met through youtube it's a big story about me and, and T history. Um, like I remember because of T history, I met um, Miss Playful, met late Miss Lady School, like two great women, um, and like he was always um, shouting out his subscribers. Like he was trying to make it. He was trying to make some money on YouTube. His channel made it to a thousand subscribers. It got taken down, which was why we um had our little thing about like I, I stopped talking to him because when he got to a thousand subscribers, he was going against Miss Playful, and you know I fucks with Miss Playful, so when when they took his channel down i made a video talking about that they took his channel down who i think took his channel down and why they took it down you know he was um like grabbing other people's videos and posted it on his page and then he was getting copyrighted so he's beefing with, with playful and he puts two or her videos on his page and she struck them and took his page down. At least that's what it sounds like, or what it looked like. Cause you know YouTube, you can never believe everybody. But um, <clears throat> when I did the video, like we was cool as shit. Like I remember one time, like when we first, when I first first got on his panel, it was late at night, right? And it was just him, and he was talking about about what he was talking about I think it was um mental health like like problems with mental health and stuff and then I started like <clears throat> giving them like putting my comments in there my opinions and I, I ended up finding out I think he broke up with his wife during those days so he was going through it and he was broke too, like he was really broke. So I remember one time I, I sent a, a cash app of $20 so he could go get some food. And then when he got the $20, like he was so happy and so he felt so happy. He kept thanking me and all that. So like I ended up sending him another $50 so he could go and do like some food shopping and stuff. I don't know what he did with it, but I remember like talking with him. One time he told me that, like like a couple of weeks later he told me I still got some of that money that's just whenever I need something from the store I just go and get it like that's one thing about me I always looked out like I never gave a fuck about money but um 
Yeah, man. Then, um, so when I took my, so we was really cool. So when they took his page down, he, um, he called me and he was like, why do you make that video? And I felt some type of way because I didn't talk bad in the video. I just said what happened. And he tried to come tell me, like, why did I do that video? And I'm I'm sitting over here like, who the fuck are you to be telling me what the fuck I, I should be doing and not doing on my page, right? So, like, he, he wasn't, like, in an arguing, fighting mood because he was not like that. But he was just trying to, like, ask me, like, I should, like, basically trying to tell me that I should take down the video to the point where I just fucking clicked the phone on him and blocked him. It was through Instagram he was calling me. And ever since that, I stopped fucking with him. But <clears throat> when I used to see people trolling him and roasting him and bullying him, basically, I used to feel bad. Like, sometimes some of the jokes used to make me laugh, but most of the jokes, I used to put myself in his, like, in his foot, and I used to feel like he was getting very disrespected. So... That happened. We we never got to speak to each other again. And um, he went on to make another page. He got it to a thousand. I think he got to get it monetized. I'm not sure if he got it monetized, but he was way over a thousand subscribers. And um, like he just kept pushing and pushing. So like I even stopped going on his page because I started getting boring to me. But I checked it. Yes, he had. It's 13 days since he didn't do a video. Like, it's sad, man. Let's go Mets. <clears throat> it's sad. But, yeah, man, I just wanted to say that. Rest in peace, C. History. Much respect, bro. May God have you in heaven. Rest in peace. And, and um, I hope your family... Hope it, God helps your family too with the grieving and all that stuff. Peace. Jojo TB said peace.